Hey guys, it's, hey guys, it's your girl Melanie, and today we're gonna be reacting to a video by a woman named Ash on the Line. Um, I will link the original below as well as her channel for you to subscribe. But she basically uh, has a video saying why Kevin Samuels was right and modern women are wrong. Confessions of an ex-modern woman. So I thought this would be good to get into, um, but please make sure you go ahead and give her a view and a like um, and subscribe as well. She can use this the support. All right, let's get into it. Definitive, quick to anger, disrespectful, and honestly, I wanted problems always. I used to be argumentative, quick to anger, disrespectful, and honestly, I wanted problems always. I don't want peace. I want problems always. Like most women, when I first seen the Kevin Samuels Average at Best video, I thought to myself, why is he so mean? What makes him think he can talk to us like this? I held that same viewpoint for a while and thought maybe he just needs to change his tone. But what most people don't know is Kevin Samuels talked to men like this for three years before he even started talking to women. Focus on cultivating that relationship. With I'll what? Back. Cultivating relationship with what? With getting out there and getting a relationship. You don't have anybody. Sir, this is unacceptable. Yeah, I know. I hope you didn't come here looking for sympathy. Oh, no, 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 heck no. You're, do you have both your limbs? Yes, sir. Then why don't you have a job? Negro, you need a job. Yes, sir. Get off YouTube, get off Instagram, get off TikTok, get off your ass, and go to fuck to work. Yes, sir. Why'd I do that? Because, guys, look, we gotta call bullshit when we see it. Yes, sir. So why does the divorce rate drop dramatically for black couples as well over an income of $250,000? I didn't know that. Maybe because you're not part of that group. Are you being serious, bro? Um, I am, but the finances is definitely something no, that I'm no, working No, 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 hell no, no. If anything, you should be happy that I'm talking about what I'm talking about because it's highlighting the problem of hypergamy out of out of control. I'm happy and I think it's necessary. Men knew. So I find this interesting because I've, you know, I've watched many of Kevin's shows, obviously, and I've actually seen the ones where he's talked to men. And she's right. He he would talk to men directly and he would give them the same type of criticisms or corrections that they needed. And the difference between the men and the women, not all the women who called in, because many women did listen on Kevin's show, but there were a lot of women who were argumentative, always had to be right. They did nothing wrong. Their shite doesn't stink. And so he would have to go in. But if you just take a clip, I liken it to the Johnny Depp trial. There's still women, there's still people out there that would just say, believe Amber just because she's a woman, believe all women. When you know these people did not watch the trial, they don't. They did not see the evidence. It was clear and plain that she lied, manipulated, and she committed DV against him. She even said that he um, um, assaulted her, graped her with a broken whiskey bottle. Okay, this is, this is, this, but she didn't go to the hospital, said he would hit her. Well, you know, Johnny Depp wears all these rings. And so, you know, but she never had any injuries. It was shown that she manipulated images. She, I mean, there's so much that she did, but yet we want to keep this narrative up. And it's like those people, and it's the same thing. If you just watch a clip of Kevin and you don't really watch many of his videos to get an idea of what he's doing, the people he's helping, the people who need the help, who call in because they know they need help. You'll just take it out of context and run with whatever narrative makes your feelings feel good. The same thing has happened on my my show. I had a guy call into my dating show, um, 30 years old, four kids by two different women. He had no direction in life. He was severely obese, overweight, and I had to kick him in the butt, but it was tough love. Okay. And so, you know, and the difference though, is that when you talk to the men, for the most part, the vast majority of men can accept criticism. They'll listen. They don't start arguing about it. For the most part, there are some, but it's not, it's, it's not common. And I've experienced this myself. I knew that it was just brutal honesty, and some of them even called back to thank him. Whereas when he started talking to women, they took it pretty personal. 
As women, oftentimes we think with our feelings first, whereas men are more likely to think with logic. Sometimes you have to be willing to hear the ugly truth, and you can't become the best version of yourself if everyone's afraid to call you out on your problems. Kevin Samuels just wasn't afraid. In the infamous Average at Best video, a woman called in and interrupted the topic he was discussing for the evening. At first, he refused to talk to her. She begged him to discuss the problems she was having in her dating life. Reluctantly, he decided to talk to her, and throughout the entire 23-minute video, he told her what she could do to improve. But she was in denial about everything he was saying. Then finally, at the end of the video, he delivered that infamous line. You're average looking at best. She wanted a man that made over six figures because that's what she made. But what she didn't realize is a man that makes six figures doesn't want a woman that makes that. He's going to want a homemaker, a wife. Now, this is true about the video. A lot of people have not watched the full thing. They didn't see that she was actually in the wrong for even calling in on a show, on his show that day. Um, and she didn't care. He told her this is not the right day to call in for this. And she didn't care. She was trying to force him to get, so she can get free advice, or I guess she had glammed herself up. So she was camera ready and wanted him to take her call. And the, she called herself average. But see, if you just take that one clip, you're, ma'am, you're average at best. Sorry, I got a little critter barking. Um, if you just take that and, and run with it and don't see the full picture, you, you know, you can spin anything. Anyone can spin any clip into anything they want, but intelligent people, people who have critical thinking skills, look at the full picture of something before they just make a, a snap judgment on a clip. But we live in an era of, you know, social media. And uh, if you, if someone puts it out there, then it must be true. Amber Heard. You've probably only seen highlights of him going off on women, or maybe someone you trust told you that he's an asshole. But when you watch over 50 of his live streams like I have, you really start to understand why he spoke the way that he did. If I'm being honest, today us women are just so used to being coddled. We're constantly told that we're queens and we've been conditioned to not take any criticism. We think we're perfect, we think we're special, we think we're the prize, and we receive no accountability for our actions. Before Kevin's passing, 12 couples got married from his Facebook group. That number has increased and doesn't even count the couples whose relationships improved or men and women who took his advice and got engaged. Talking about making people feel, I don't make you feel anything. You're in control of your own emotions. I think that's an unfair characterization by anything else because if we flip that up, there are people who make money off of making women feel good and lie to them. There are people who openly pander to women telling them everything is okay and live false lives in their face and women can see this and continue to do it. So I always say judge things on the outcome. There have been more videos on YouTube saying Kevin Samuels has saved my marriage. I'm better. I'm married today because of Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels' advice works. Uh, I talk about, you know, this group I had on Facebook where people are getting together. People can focus on what they want to. Kevin Samuels. So I can speak on what Kevin's mission was, um, not just what he put out into the public, but what we've actually had in private conversations. And he felt he started because he wanted to help in particular, you know, when he started, um, he wanted to help the black community. And he thought by building families, but he saw that the problem as he talked to more men and as he's done his research and, and, and talking to women, he saw that the problem it, for so long, it's been believed that it's just men that are causing it. The men are the reason why this is happening. Men are this, men are that. But when you talk or you even see some of the women on a show, you'll see that the delusion that lives on the side of us as women, you know, we, we it, 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 it's impossible to build families. He said it over and over again, unless someone brings correction to you, how do you know what you're doing wrong? And this is the thing. There are a lot of people who will pander to women because it makes money. Women will buy this stuff. Women will listen to you. You won't get canceled publicly because you're pandering to women, telling them what they want to hear that it's always the man's fault and that they don't need to change anything. But we've seen over and over examples that it's just not true. But that was why Kevin started this. Now it reached out to, you know, all communities, 
The reality is all communities started listening to him because they're experiencing it not just within the black community, but you'll see it in modern women, whether they're white, black, Asian, Hispanic, a lot of this thinking has seeped into their mindsets and no one is helping them. No one is helping them get married. They're just telling them the same things they've told women for 40 years. But we have seen a complete decline in the marriage rates and divorces at an all-time high, mostly filed by women. And so how do you counteract that unless, you know, people have been using, a, a, you know, just a, a, a feather to talk to women. And he came in with a hammer. Why? To get it done quick and to wake them up, open their eyes, and to help them. He wasn't doing it just, you know, just for entertaining. Yeah, entertainment, yeah, it was entertaining so people would watch. But his core beliefs was not just to go in on women. And anyone with any basic critical thinking skills can see that. Mills recognized the increasing divide between men and women, and in his own way, he was trying to fix that. You may think he was an asshole, and to be honest, maybe he was but assholes get shit done. He cut past the filler, he cut past the coddling, and he told us the truth. I'm a better woman because of it, and I thank him for that. Cause to be honest, I used to be a little crazy. Here's four reasons why Kevin Samuels was right and modern women are wrong. Number one, Kevin Samuels highlighted the toxicity of modern women. Modern women are those who are highly career driven, have dominant personalities, believe they're superior to men, don't respect men. They may treat men just as an accessory or as kind of like a trophy. They'll brag about how they're educated or independent and don't need a man. They may be quick to anger and have bad attitudes, especially towards potential suitors. They may not take criticism very well and they view themselves as the prize. They think that they're perfect and they may dream of being part of a power couple. Typically, modern women will want the men that they can't have. For example, they'll want men that have lots of options or men that show them little to no attention. A lot of modern women will say that they prefer tall men, six foot and above, without knowing that the average height for a man is 5'9". The more experience they have with dating, the more unrealistic their standards become. So yeah, once again, I, I didn't even know what the term modern woman was until I actually um, started watching Kevin's stuff. But, you know, and I didn't even understand, like I, it had, I had not been, I had not consciously thought about the fact that I've heard things since I was young, um, you know, you don't want no broke man, no short man. Um, you know, I can do bad all by myself. All men are dogs, all men cheat. Um, you know, it, it was, it's all these negative things that are now just not individuals, individuals saying it, it's cultural. It's like accepted norms to say it and you won't get canceled or, 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 or men don't make a lot of noise about it because they're used to it. They've grown up with these types of things said to them or about them. And it's just, it's just known and no one gets any, it, no one thinks twice about it. It's just a thing to, that, that you say or that you just accept. But the second a man says anything about a woman, it's a complete cancellation. It's, it's, he's misogynistic. It's the patriarchy and all these other things. When the reality is, it's just, you, if you were to sit, if you think, I want you to sit and think if you're a woman and you're in a man's shoes and the things that are said about men, a man who was 5'8", a man who makes $50,000, OK, um, these the, the things that are said about him that he has to just accept. Nobody cares. Nobody's going to coddle his feelings. going to say, oh, how could women say that about you? How could women put you down because you're not real tall and and you don't have uh, you're not making a uh, uh, hundred fifty thousand dollars a year? See, we have no problem when it's coming when it's coming from our side as women. But as soon as men have any correction for when, and actually, you know, how, how much he makes out tall is not a correction, but anything they say that they don't want or say that, you know, anything that's said about women that isn't pandering or tickling their ears, it's a, it, you know, they're canceled and they're, and they're, and they're called out and they're put down as misogynistic and, and it's the patriarchy. Everything's the patriarchy and, and misogyny. And it's just not. 
and the reason I stopped matchmaking is because I, I can't handle female clients. I was a matchmaker that matched females. And listen, what I it was such a valuable lesson for me because what I learned is that the average woman doesn't really want just a good man. She doesn't want a husband. What she's really wanting are these standards or ideas that she has of what a man is supposed to be. But this is nothing what men are. They're, this is not realistic. You're comparing good men to, I can't say this, F boys. I'm just going to say it. You're comparing good men to the men that you've experienced previously who were not ready to be husbands that you were just dating, messing around with. He's supposed to look like this. He's supposed to act like that. Oh, you know what? He's too corny. He, he likes me too much. He texts me too much. Yeah, because the the men that you were messing with, you weren't even the only one. They don't get, they don't text you right back. They don't call you right back because they have a more just like you. So a man comes along that is crazy about you and is interested in you. And I'm sorry to say, you have friend zoned the men that really you're compatible with, the men that would make a wonderful husband. A lot of you have friend zoned the good dude who's ready to be a husband and a father and give you some pretty babies. If you get a pretty boy and they super fine and they in the mirror more than you, you got a problem. But the problem is you looking at visuals and thinking that men are supposed to look like us or be just as gorgeous as us. No, that's not how God created this whole scenario. Less than 14% of the entire American male population is over six foot, just height. And if you add in what he looks like, like looking like Idris and making money like this and that, honey, look, you looking for the come up for real because um, I don't know where he's at. These match, I was matchmaking. I would be like, man, I would go find these incredible men and they would be like, oh, mm, I would never date him. It's like, it's like he's gotta be perfect, but you're not perfect. You got issues and unresolved issues and you got a temper and you're bossy and you're controlling and men don't even like to be around you long term. You run everybody away. You think you're so much the ish that you're bougie and vain and stuck up and men don't like it. And you wonder why you can't keep a man. You wonder why nobody wants to be around you. But your standards are standardizing you right out of the game. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna settle. But in the meantime, boo, you're not even half the things that, aren't, that you have on your list as requirements for a man. You're not even half those things. But you want that in a man. Because until a man is ready, he is not going to choose you. It don't, you could do, it doesn't matter how you put it down in the bedroom. It doesn't matter what kind of values. It doesn't matter how big your butt is and what you look like. Until a man is ready, he is not settling down. And if you do mess up and get one of these dudes on a string and get him to marry you, you notice I said, get him to marry you. You're going to be in so much trouble because he ain't going to change. A lot of modern women have been told while growing up to just focus on becoming. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it right there because I want you to go and watch her video. I think I'm gonna have to do a whole reaction, guys, to <laughs> Rebecca Lynn's Pope's going off. That was so much meat. I couldn't even digest it fully. Um, but I wanna, I, that video is so good on its own that I would want to break that down. But please go ahead and check out this woman's um, channel. Check out this video. It's excellent. She, I mean, she just really, um, um, did an excellent case study on, on, um, on, on, on Kevin's mission, what he did, what his work was about. And, um, and honestly, like she said, unless you've watched multiple videos and you've seen that any woman, you, the, anything you've seen where he's, where you, you in your mind think, oh, he was mean and he was toxic and he was this that, and the other, go watch the entire episode, his monologue in the beginning and then watch the episode. You don't have to agree with everything, but you will start to see a lot of women who are out of pocket, just like this woman matchmaker who quit, okay? She quit because she couldn't deal with women and there's another matchmaker that did the same thing because she could not deal with the women, not the men. Um, so anyway, guys, make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know what you think and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.